Hello, and welcome to Emerald Meadows, your RC and hobby uh, YouTube channel. Today we're going to start uh, talking about uh, uh, the assembly of a quadcopter. Uh, and to start that off, we're going to go over a parts list. And on this YouTube video, I'll have a list of all the parts that, that I purchased to make my quadcopter. Uh, first of all, uh, I have, uh, I purchased the uh, controller, which is the KK2.1. And we're going to go over um, uh, the details necessary for, for programming uh, the K, uh, KK2.1. Uh, the 2.1 uh, has, uh, they've already pre-soldered in the controls for lights, uh, and low and um, low voltage beepers, uh, which saves you some time, why not? Uh, and I, I went, instead of using individual, individual, um, individual speed controllers, I went with the QQ brain. Uh, a couple of reasons. I really hate messy wires, so I'm hoping that this is going to give us um, a more uh, uh, a more streamlined looking install. Uh, also, the fact is that I have uh, the four speed controllers in one. Of course, the one drawback is, is if one of them fails, I've just lost the whole speed control. Um, the motors that we're using are the uh, Multistar. Um, let me just so here. This here is the Multistar motor and propeller combo, uh, specifically designed for um, for quadcopters. Uh, this is the uh, 2213. Um, uh, I, I basically went with recommendations and research I did on the web, so uh, I'll list that uh, on the web page as well. Uh, and the frame, I, re I uh, obtained the uh, Reptile 500 frame, uh, and we're going to go over, I put some of these tubes on, we'll go over that in more detail, uh, and this is the, is the parts for the frame. And uh, for this assembly, we're going to start by assembling the frame uh, for, uh, for the first part. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to move the camera in for some uh, more close-up shots so you get a better see uh, uh, of what's going on. I know my other videos... Uh, aren't quite as, as clear as I would like them to be. So uh, let's get started on assembling the frame. Let's start with the frame assembly. We'll get a little bit closer look here. Uh, I've already put the crab legs together. The, the uh, mount and the crab leg assembly are done in two parts. I've put, this, uh, I put these uh, tubes on already. I, I still have to space them out. The hardest part I had was actually putting these small tubes on the bottom. It was a bugger, these ones here. So I kind of had to just clip in the front part and then uh, slide it through. And now I'm just going to put on the put on the, the top tube. They are really tight. Uh, once you get them going, uh, they're pretty easy to do. And push that through. Voila. And we'll space this out once we get the uh, other parts done. Okay. Now, setting that aside, we're going to start putting together uh, the uh, base unit. Now, the one with the two holes go on the bottom. I would actually have you refer to the documentation, but the documentation is crap, okay? Uh, unless you are Chinese, uh, probably Mandarin, you're not going to understand anything of that manual. I will uh, I'll PDF and put it up on the... Uh, Hobby King website, but it really is, uh, it really makes no sense at all. Uh, so what I did was I went and looked at the pictures, which helped out immensely. So the first thing we do is, is you have a package uh, of these little M3 screws. There's quite a few of them here. Put them over here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble the legs. Uh, I just went by the pictures uh, on the front. Uh, so um, First thing we do is taking a look at this here. There is uh, pre-tapped and pre-mounted uh, uh, nuts uh, in this unit, and we simply just turn this around and start putting these screws in the four corners. And I will speed this up once we get going. I want to do one of the legs. Uh, so you get to see see what they're like, and then I'll go on and do the other legs, and I'll explain 
a little bit on the orientation of the leg. Okay, so there's leg one. I'm now going to put on leg two. Uh, the red I put on the front, or what I will call the front, um, uh, and, uh, and work it from there. So again, these small screws going into this corner. And like so. And put on this corner here. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add the, the, uh, the top mount. I'll add this white one here. My camera isn't very good for close-ups, but uh, It'll have to do. At least you'll get the idea. Of what I'm doing. And finally, the bottom part of the rear. I haven't decided which will be the front or which will be the rear. Okay, and we'll flip it over and we'll start adding this part. Now, there is, uh, there are two spacer brackets, these ones here, these are reinforcers that go in the front, and what I will do here is I'll just put a screw in here to hold everything in place, but I won't tighten it down until I get those spacers in. I'll put one in each of the legs. to the legs. Okay, this is the, uh, the start. Now we'll put in the spacers. I'll loosen this off just a bit more so it gets into place. And I did this incorrectly. Now we have to add these spacers in the front. Okay, this is where you need to have matched your bottom plate with your top plate 
before you started to screw the legs on because these will only go in one orientation. So you need to line these plates up and I use these here uh, uh, supports as guides as to where the top should go and where the bottom plate should go. Um, I have those uh, on and in place now. They're looking sturdy. I'm just going to tighten that down so they don't they don't move. So I use these little plates, okay, to line up uh, my top and bottom. If you flip the bottom or the top one around, these won't line up, okay? So they must be in this orientation. So this is kind of your one tip as to how to assemble the top and bottom with the legs. I'll continue now to put in the spacers in the back here. Okay, there's two spacers. I'll finish putting in the rest of the screws and uh, we'll be now we've finished uh, mounting our arms on our, on, our, uh, on our quad frame and I've added the spacers and all the screws. We now have to add the, uh, complete the crab leg base uh, in order to make this all work. Uh, now these, there's our, there are four of these little, I guess, bushings, um, I don't know what to call them. They have to go in, go on the uh, tubes, uh, and they have to be screwed in place before you actually attach it to the base, because you can't get on and tighten these tiny little screws um, after you put them on. So we have to put uh, these tiny little, the little nut goes on the bottom, and the little, little bolt goes through the top, and you really need to have your complete set of uh, hex drivers in order to make this all work. And they need to be metric. Wrong size. And they all need to be metric. Okay, so you always have to have, anytime you're dealing with uh, items from China, most times it's all going to be uh, metric in nature. So now that I have these four mounts uh, assembled, uh, and now I can start looking at how they're going to be attached to, to the crab legs. And there are holes uh, on the base. Um, there are holes on the base that actually, you'll notice that there's inset bolts on here. There's holes on the base that line up. Uh, now I have to slide this up a bit. Okay, get this, slide this up a bit so that they line up. And again, going to the image online, uh, that's where you're going to find out where to adjust uh, the um, adjust the uh, legs. So I'm going to go ahead and screw the crab legs onto the base, and that'll complete the first part of this project.